My artistic practice over the last 30 years has increasingly, um, and through chance sometimes, started to fuse interest in science as well as art. And so I've done several projects that have uh, wed the two, or at least heavily considered science. As I embark on any project, I look at the architectural setting um, and also the audience, the potential audiences for an artwork. Here we've got a, a gorgeous atrium, the contours of which I'll describe generally as organic. And um, how might I take advantage of the multi-floors in terms of uh, perception by different people in the building? You know, special emphasis on the entryway is one enters this space. So there's the optical and physical potential of viewership in that space. The challenge in this space is to create both an object that can be appreciated and you know the second goal that's in a lot of my artwork which is to create a, an environment. So something that can be experienced with the eyes but also with the body. And so the atrium is an organic structure in terms of its walls and it has a very rectangular prismatic stairway going up the middle of it and uh, the goal that I thought would be great is to envelop the rectangular uh, prism in an organic sheath that is basically a, a cylinder essentially so that this offered all sorts of conceptual and um, retinal potential. So basically I'm sheathing this with translucent fabric onto which scientifically adapted scientific imagery is uh, you know, graphically printed. And so I would say the core uh, aesthetic conceit of the piece is stairway or architecture as, as an artery. And um, the aha moment is when I was looking at the ar ar architectural plans and you see on its most basic terms, a stairway is about circulation. So I'm considering this. Uh, and so people are moving up, people are moving down. There's the physical pedestrian circulation within the building. We're dealing with a building that is engaging in research that is on a circulatory level. Okay, it's dealing with anatomical circulation as well. So if there was uh, an aha moment, it's the conflation of pedestrian architectural circulation and vascular circulation, if you want to look at it that way. Like most people graduating from art school, you know, you think about a career, career trajectory along the lines of galleries and museums. And I was fortunate early on in my career to have success in that realm. I think one of the beautiful aspects of public work is its potential to become part of the social fabric, to reward repeated viewings over years. And I think there's places where people are gonna encounter it at different times of day and different times of the year. The, the core idea of my artwork for the atrium of the Biomedical Discovery bu Building is um, a, a fabric sleeve that envelops the central staircase in the atrium. And uh, this offers all sorts of expressive and optical potential from the inside because the fabric will be nearby. That is, being on the stairway, one can see through the fabric out into the atrium, through the, the graphic that will incorporate scientific data on the cellular level you have that sense of being almost in a chapel or you know, within the membrane of this artery, if you will. Now, if we're elsewhere in the atrium on higher floors or in the entryway entering it, you're looking at this fabric uh, enclosure and you can, and because it's translucent, you can see vaguely people moving up in and out of it. So it's a, a question of near and far and the, uh, basically the optic processing that our brains do with that. It's about perception, it's about mystery, it's about discovery. And that deals with proximity and distance and optical consolidation.